Okay, Math Man McGreal at it again with the whiteboard math. Right? I'm hip with the kids, right? I'm assuming you're laughing at home. Um, well, um, today I want to study the topic of the number E. Now, before you nope out of this one by hitting that exit button, um, I want to clarify something. No, not every letter is assigned a number, like some sort of secret code. Um, it's not like that. Um, uh, e is amongst uh, the very few that have kind of this idea attached to it. Um, why E in particular? Well, you're going to have to ask Mr. Euler on that one. Um, but good luck. Uh, he died a few hundred years ago. Um, so let's talk about E. So I want you to consider the following. Here I have s of n, uh, the function, uh, where I have it set equal to uh, the quantity of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. Um, now I want to play around with this idea. And what I mean by that is I want to plug in some values uh, and to see just kind of what comes out. That's generally what I want to do. So like, let's say uh, I want to figure out what s of 1 is. Okay, so I want to plug in a 1 for these n's. And I can do that. So I replace this n with a 1. And I replace this n with a 1. And I'll get, well, 1 plus 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is just 1. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 to the first power, well, that's just 2. And I want to go a little bit higher than just that. Well, I want to plug in 2. I want to find s of 2. Uh, when I plug in 2, well, that's 1 plus 1 half. So 1.5 to the second power. And that's 2.25. OK. Let's do that one last time. Uh, let's go up to 3. So s of 3, I'm going to plug in that 3 for those ends. 1 plus 1 third to the third power. I'm going to get 1.3 repeating to the third, and that's going to be approximately 2.37. Let's jump a few steps. Let's go all the way up to 100, s of 100, using this idea. So I'm going to replace those ends with 100. I'm going to get uh, 1 plus 1 and 1 hundredth, so that's just 0.01 to the hundredth power, and that's going to be approximately 2.705. Well, okay, that's still not enough. What I want to do is I want to plug in, theoretically, the largest number I possibly can. I want to theoretically plug in infinity. Now, what I'm about to uh, talk about is not mathematically correct. This statement that I've written down here is no good. So I want to plug in the largest number I can think of. The largest, I mean, infinity, right? You, you really can't get to an, an an infinitely large value. So I'm just going to plug in this concept of infinity. I'm going to do s of infinity, which is not correct math. Um, but I'm going to use this idea to get to the point I'm trying to make. So let's just say I could plug in infinity here, right? So I'm doing 1 plus 1 over infinity. Again, can't do that. Till the infinity infinitieth power, can't do that. Um, what will eventually come out, so let's just plug in for, for fun, right? You could plug in, say, a million million or something like that. It's probably too large. Maybe just a million. So s of a million is equal to 1 plus 1 over a million to the millionth power. Just do something like that maybe. Uh, and you'll notice that if you plug in this really, really, really large number, it's going to come out to approximately 2.71828. Uh, now this guy right here, this guy is E. Okay, so, hi, uh, yeah, very strange angle, I understand this, but I need the long board, so, you know, the board's a long way. Uh, another way to get to this idea is to consider the following. Uh, let's just say I have, okay, this is very hard. Uh, let's just say I have the number, um, this is what I want to explain first. Um, one over, uh, starting with zero, factorial. Now, if anyone doesn't know what factorial means, it's just going to be, um, rather than just zero, you're just going to be screaming that number. So you just say zero. No, that's not right. Uh, well, factorial, the idea of factorial is just like if you have two factorial, you just multiply all the values starting at two and every num a number beneath it. So like two times one. So like three factorial, that's just three times two times one. Four factorial, that's four times three times two times one. That's the idea of factorial. Um, anyway, um, consider the following. Let's just say you have one over zero factorial. Um, and zero factorial is just equal to one. You get 1 over 1, and that's equal to 1. Now consider 1 over 1 factorial. 1 factorial, that's just 1. It's just itself. 1 over 1, that's 1. Now consider 1 over 2 factorial. 1 over 2 times 1, because 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Well, that's just 1 over 2. That's 0.5. Now consider 1 over 3 factorial. 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, that is 1 and 1 sixth. Uh, 1 over 6, sorry. So that's 0.16 repeating. 
Just the six part is repeating. Consider 1 over 4 factorial. That's 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 0 0.041. Uh, and then the 6 is repeating. And then let's just continue this process, well, forever. <laughs> like, get literally to forever. Get all the way to, like, conceptual infinity, I guess. Um, or theoretical infinity, sorry. Um, so really the last line that I have there, um, you see that, okay, it's going to be hard. Uh, you see that 1 over, there it is. Uh, 1 over uh, infinity to the, uh, or sorry, 1 over infinity factorial. You really can't do that, um, but we're kind of just going to that idea, right? We're going infinitely large. If you take all these numbers, right, the 1, the 1, the 0.5, the 1, 0.16 repeating, you take all these numbers and you add them up forever. So you honestly are just adding up, as you can see there on the far um, right side over here, I'm adding up all of these numbers it will actually go all the way up to 2.71828, da 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 uh, the number e. So that's another way to arrive to this conclusion that is e. Okay, so you may have a question, and that question might be y. Not the letter y, and most certainly not the number y. There, there is no number y, I should clarify that. Um, asking why is, is, well, a good question right now. Why are we doing this? And my response is, well, as a mathematician, first, isn't this stuff just cool? Right? Studying this stuff is just cool. The fact that this mysterious value, this 2.71828, you know, this trickles on, this value just occurs so naturally in uh, various ways, and you can look up on the internet, there's plenty more ways that this number kind of just pops up. That's just kind of cool. Um, so aside from the fact that it's just kind of cool, it does have its applications. Um, so for example, um, in finance it has application, uh, let's say that you have like maybe an interest that compounds continuously. So uh, what do I mean by that? I mean like the moment that you gain interest, that interest gains interest. And the moment that that interest gains interest, that interest gains interest. So interesting that, that interest that kind of uh, gains interest immediately once it becomes interest. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain that. Um, so it kind of has intra, uh, it's our, it has application uh, in finance. It has application in um, chemistry. So if we think of half life of substances, um, so substances that decay, um, that kind of uh, break down and, and uh, wear over time. I, I'm looking for the exact word here. Um, decompose. There is a, I'm not a chemistry guy. So substances that decompose over time. Uh, that uses this idea. Um, as well. Um, Newton's law of cooling and heating, uh, sort of a chemistry slash physics topic, I guess, that also um, uses E. Um, and in addition to that, some more advanced topics in physics, so uh, thermodynamics and electrodynamics, um, so like plane waves and apparently the Boltzmann factor, I had to look that guy up, um, it uses E as well. Uh, and then lastly, more abstract, complicated mathematics, like deeper mathematics. I shouldn't necessarily call it complicated. Of course, that's going to naturally use um, E um, as well. Um, so uh, I guess in that regard, it has a lot of application as well. So not only does it freaking cool, it's got some application. So if you have any more curiosity on this matter, um, I suggest you um, actually take a look at my description. I'm going to add a few links to other YouTube videos that do a good job explaining um, kind of uh, how often E shows up naturally, naturally, uh, alongside application of E as well. Um, so check out the description on that. Uh, you can also read a book, uh, which I am currently reading, uh, E, the Story of a Number. Um, yes, a book on uh, number E. Um, so you can also look into that as well. Um, that is all I have for you. Um, please continue to math on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will see you around. This week's episode was brought to you by the number E.